me again in the same outfit I wore when I filmed earlier today, but different lipstick, so we're gonna pretend this is a different day. Okay? <laughs> You guys ever played The Sims 4? Because I feel like this bun is giving me very like Judith Ward vibes. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. It's day literally I don't know what of Vlogmas. But today I'm doing another holiday themed video and doing like a little gift guide for people that already have everything. I'm kind of one of these people, I feel like a lot of my friends are these people where it's like if I want something I'm just gonna go buy it for myself. So these are kind of things that I think would be like good alternatives for people that you feel like already have everything and don't need anything and just buy themselves stuff. A lot of these are going to be like female based if you guys want to see like a dude's or a male's gift guide. Not that like women can't have men's gifts and men's can't have women's gifts but you know what I mean if you want to see more like male centered gift guide I can also do that but this is going to be mostly for women. Am I lighting right now? Chef's kiss 10 out of 10. The first is nice scrunchies. So this seems super random and I've always been a scrunchie person if you do not know. I worked in American Apparel for years. I was into scrunchies when scrunchies weren't cool anymore. I've always liked scrunchies. They're, can't even see her. They're all I wear. Um, I've kind of given up on regular elastics and I appreciate a good scrunchie. I bought, it's controversial because they're silk, but I bought myself this during the Sephora VIB sale. This is a set from Slip of four there was four in here right and i have one in my hair right now the like lighter pink one i love these it's great it like doesn't stretch out too much it like doesn't kink my hair at all i don't think it's doing anything like amazing for my hair that like fake silk probably wouldn't do but i don't know the set of these like mini scrunchies i really really like and they're super expensive they're like stupid expensive i'll have these specific ones not in this gift set because they don't have the gift set anymore but i'll have these ones linked down below of everything that I mentioned linked down below um, but even just getting like a nicer scrunchie I know Lululemon has a bunch of them I know on Amazon you can get like big packs of scrunchies I know a lot of Etsy shops made scrunchies so just like a fancier scrunchie I think would be really nice or if you know they really like something lots of Etsy shops will make like custom scrunchies and more unique ones so I know there's like a bunch of Disney shops that make Disney scrunchies so just like a cute nice themed scrunchie I feel like everyone will appreciate as long as they have hair you know I saw this on, it was like one of those BuzzFeed posts that was like things that you want to buy from Amazon.ca today. And I'll throw a photo up here. How cute is this? It's like a little animal diffuser slash humidifier. And I just think things like this are so cute. Mine's actually upstairs right now because my mom took it. But I do have a diffuser that I got from Sage like two years ago, I think, for my brother for Christmas. I almost said for <laughs> Halloween there, for Christmas, that I really, really enjoy. And then it's nice because if you get them this, you can get them like little essential oils throughout the years for other gifts. Um, Sage has really nice ones, but honestly, they're really expensive because they're from Sage. Um, and the problem with them, essentially, if you use any other essential oil, it's not a Sage essential oil. I think their warranty is like cut, you know? There's a ton of Amazon that you can get. These ones are like really cheap, really small, like cute little themed ones. Um, you can get like any color things like that. Even if they aren't diffusing oils, getting little humidifiers are really cute. If you live in a really dry climate, they make ones for your car that I learned that are really cool. And as someone with very dry skin, I appreciate a good humidifier. This I didn't know existed. And then I saw it and I was like, I've never needed anything more in my entire life. If you have someone in your life that you're trying to buy for that likes skincare, get them a skincare fridge. Some places call them skincare fridges but honestly they mark up the price. You can find them on Amazon or like Walmart as six can mini fridges. So they're essentially these teeny tiny little mini fridges that fit like six cans but this way like stacked. Um, so cute to have beside your bed. I personally would keep you know cans in it but people are keeping like setting sprays and skincare products and like drinks and water bottles and things like that. You can get super cute like pink ones and teal ones. So a whole bunch on Amazon. There was one on Walmart that was on like a crazy sale for Black Friday. So I'm hoping there'll be a really good sale for Boxing Day. But I love this idea. I think it's something that is so ridiculous that no one would ever buy themselves but I would adore it as a gift. This is a more traditional one but some sort of like experience. Um, I might be biased and I'm saying this because I work in like hospitality and a spa but I think like a gift card or a voucher for like a massage or a pedicure or something like that would be really nice. If there's someone who likes adventures you could do like a gift card for an excursion so like you know zip lining or a ski pass for a day or like I don't know axe throwing is a thing now um, or like some sort of like 
horseback riding lesson. I don't really know. It depends on the person, but I think this is something that can be like easily manipulated to be for that specific individual. And there's a lot of different options, but getting them an experience, something they won't just like throw away if they don't like it, you know? This one is also really customizable to the person, but a good like basic of anything that you think they enjoy in life. So like I've talked about this sweater a bunch of times, I'll throw it up here, but this sweater from Old Navy, I'm obsessed with, I love it. I have it in pink, I asked for it in every other color of Christmas. I love it. So like a good basic like fuzzy sweater or like teddy jacket. A lot of people really love the Aritzia crew neck pullovers that are kind of expensive, but it's a nice gift because it's something that you wouldn't buy yourself necessarily, like a $60 sweater, but they're amazing quality. Everyone's obsessed with them. I first discovered them because Kenzie Elizabeth posted out in a vlog and then like everyone in the comments was like, hello, I'm obsessed with this. So like a good pullover, a good like sweater, a good like pair of joggers or sweatpants. You know, they're like a sneaker person, like a nice pair of like classic shoes, just like something that you know they wouldn't necessarily buy themselves, but you know that they'll like no matter what because it's not like flashy. This goes for also like accessories. So if there's someone who loves like beanies or backpacks or like uh, baseball caps, like things like that, like something that's a little bit different that they're like, mm, I probably don't need another one of these. So I'm not gonna buy it, but they would enjoy another one of those because you know they already like it, you know? Something that is an inside joke is always fun. So this obviously depends on the person, but you can find lots of customizable stuff on Etsy or like Redbubble, which I'll talk about Redbubble in a minute too, but just something that's a little bit personal to you two. Um, this can be something super small, like, you know, a sticker or a postcard or something like that, or it can be something even bigger, but I think having something personalized is really cute because it's not just like a generic gift. Hi friend! Something that is the gift that keeps giving. So whether this be like a monthly subscription box, like Ipsy or like BoxyCharm or there's there's honestly subscription boxes for everything. I saw a jerky subscription box the other day. I almost bought my brother a beer subscription box. There's wine subscription boxes. There's tea subscription boxes. There's subscription boxes for everything. There's Disney, D Disney? There's Disney subscription boxes. So just something that you know they enjoy, getting like a little piece of it every single month for a year is super cute. I'm thinking of asking for an Audible subscription for Christmas this year because I do like a 45 minute commute to work every day. So sometimes I get sick of podcasts. So audiobooks I think would be really nice. And that's something really cheap in the same realm if they don't already have it a Disney Plus subscription only costs $90 Canadian so it's even cheaper American um, for a one-year subscription at Disney Plus so that would be something that again maybe they can't justify it themselves but you know that they would enjoy it so getting them something that lasts a whole year is really nice too on that note I also wrote this I'm, I'm smart I wrote this down and I didn't even think about it but if they have a favorite creator or a favorite artist or favorite influencer and they have a patreon sometimes it can only be like two dollars a month it's super cheap you can sign them up to like a monthly membership to their favorite person's patreon then they'll get exclusive content and things like that and i think that is a really thoughtful gift too while we're on the topic of something that's like more unique and personalized to them i think that like cool artwork is kind of like i was gonna say a lost art <laughs> things that they can like display that you know they like i think is really cool if you guys saw either of my rooms on my last dcp i had this bad boy with me this is a flag from my favorite band Mine is also slightly fancier because it's signed by them. Um, but like you can go on bands websites or creators websites and you can find things like this that are super cool. Like I think flags are like a cool way of displaying artwork without it being like artwork. So that's really cool. Um, you can go on places like Redbubble and get tapestries. I think I'm going to buy like a big Disney castle tapestry and they're not very expensive. It was like $43 Canadian I think. So again, even cheaper in US dollars. Um, so sites like Redbubble, you can literally type in like tapestry and anything. Disney, meme, The Office, Netflix, <laughs> trendy. Like you can find anything in a tapestry or like a poster on Redbubble. So that's another like cool, unique gift that you can kind of get people that's tapered to what they like. I know when I posted on my Instagram that I was gonna get a tapestry from Redbubble, I had like a bajillion people asking me to link it. So I'll link the Disney ones that I'm looking at down below. I said you can get them like anything. Something that is seemingly insanely overpriced but isn't actually expensive. So me and my coworker Dale did this for our boss's birthday because we work at a resort that's owned by the Swarovski crystal family. So we have crystals everywhere. And if you don't know they make Swarovski crystal pens that are like $40 pens. They're like really really nice like these beautiful ballpoint pens with like little crystals in them. I think I'm gonna buy myself one for Christmas. Um, but it's like, when you think about it, it's insane to spend $40 on a pen 
So most people will never do it for themselves, but it's a really beautiful, thoughtful gift if there's someone who's like a student or they enjoy writing or journaling, like a really nice journal or really nice pen, something like that that you know they would enjoy, um, that they would use frequently and like just enjoy using, I guess. Like our boss uses it every day at work now and it's just like a nice little thing, you know? Nice stationery, nice pen, like a really beautiful candle if they're a candle person, something like that that's like a little bit more expensive than what they would buy themselves in that family. I hope that makes sense. Lastly, this one is like kind of controversial and unpopular opinion, but I don't hate the idea of gift cards. Like I said, I'm someone who will just buy myself something if I want something and because of that I love gift cards. My friend got me a $25 Amazon gift card for my birthday. I love that because it means I can go buy whatever I want. Or if you have like a $50 limit and you know that there's nothing that you can find under $50 that they would necessarily love, but there's something that they would love that's $100, getting them a gift card to put towards something is a really nice option as well. People say it's like not very thoughtful and not very personal, but I think if you know that they would enjoy something more that was more expensive than your budget necessarily, I think it's actually really thoughtful to get them a gift card to cover part of it and then let them know why you're doing that instead of just getting them junk that they'll never use. That is it. That is all for today. I need to stop filming in like two minutes my mom's gonna be home soon. But that was my like little teeny tiny baby gift guide for people that already have everything. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe. If there's anything else that you wanna see for Vlogmas, leave me a comment down below. I'm in the comments all the time. All I do is sit and reply to my comments because I have no life. So please, please, please leave comments, subscribe hang out with me. All my links to everything else are always down below if you want to see me on any other social media platform. I'm on like all of them. And I will see you guys, I was going to say in a couple days, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye! Just see those